uh, says Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam was born in this Hijri month of Rabi al Awwal. And people start celebrating from the beginning of this month, saying that this is the month in which Prophet was born. So we celebrate his coming. Is this permissible? This is a good question, and you can cascade this question to similar questions that follow the same pattern. And this pattern is, are we allowed to introduce something in the religion of Islam? Because the Prophet ﷺ told us that he left us on clarity and certainty where day and night are so clear to everyone to see. And likewise, things in religion are similarly clear. And no one would go astray except someone who's doomed. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam. He also told us that whoever innovates in our affairs, in our religion, what is not part of it, it is rejected. So, the month of Rabi'ul Awwal, the third month of the Hijri calendar, does it have any importance to the Muslims? Well, we know Ramadan is important. We know the sacred four months are important. We know the three uh, months of Hajj are important. We know that uh, um, things that Allah or the Prophet had said to us that they are important, we consider them to be important. But is it up to us to select, for example, the month of Rajab and say that this is the month that the night journey, the miraculous night journey took place, so we praise it? Or the month of Shaban because it has the middle of Shaban night in it, or this or that. Do we have this privilege to do so? Well, we have to go back to the basics. And the base, basics state that innovating in Islam is not permissible. The basics for any Muslim like you and me, who are logical, we're not scholars, we're not intellectual people, we are laymen. We know that we have the Quran and we have the Sunnah. So we go through the biography of the Prophet ﷺ. We find that scholars differed whether he was born in the month of Rabi al Awwal, the 12th of Rabi al Awwal, or the 9th, or before that, or not. But all scholars agree that the Prophet ﷺ died on the 12th of Rabi al Awwal. He died, he passed away on this month. So, are you celebrating his birth or his death? Watch out. Secondly, what is more important? His birth, where he lived for 40 days like any other human being, or the day he was revealed to and became a prophet, a messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal. Definitely, this is the day to be praised if we were to praise it. Thirdly, did the Prophet ﷺ ever in his life tell us anything about the issue of Rabi' al Awwal being important, being good, being this or being that? Has he ever highlighted the date of birth, which is 12th of Rabi' al Awwal, as claimed by a lot of scholars? And it's an issue of dispute. Has he ever said to us that this is something that you guys have to praise and look up to and celebrate. Now, we know that when he came to Medina, he found the people of Medina celebrating and feasting. And when he asked them, he told them, Allah has substituted you with two days better. The day of Eid al-Hajj and the day of Eid al-Fitr. That's it. Two days to celebrate throughout the whole year. Never ever he mentioned anything about his birthday or the birthday of 
Isa ibn Maryam, or the birthday of Ibrahim, Al-Khalil, peace be upon them all. His companions who loved him more than we love him, without any doubt, had never ever mentioned it or celebrate it. So is it possible that we know more than them, that we love him more than them? Or is it possible that shaitan is messing up with our deen because we are ignorant and we are so deviated from the straight path that we are not concerned, we're not even uh, um, wanting to refer back to the Quran and Sunnah for answers. This is a question you have to answer. And you have to do your due diligence, whether you're following the Prophet ﷺ for real, or you're following, following your whims and desires, and what your corrupt peers and saints and so-called maulana are telling you to do without any evidence, neither from the Quran nor from the Sunnah. And may Allah make it, uh, uh, the Muslims follow the Sunnah and abide by it.